Of course, we are talking 24.3. Sure. Uh, you cannot share a lot of other, I mean, it's an open source, based on open source, but just give us a glimpse what else you folks are working on when it comes to managing OpenStack for Kubernetes. A lot of interesting innovations, uh, I would say should be expected next year, around next year. So uh, we are working on, you know, better supporting specific, you know, advanced use cases like future proof uh, for kind of uh, features for applic modern applications like AI and machine learning, uh, that that kind of things we are working with uh, to improve the, you know, integrate integrability of the product into the enterprise environment. So making it more kind of a compliance, less cloudy, more like, you know, looking like VMware uh, a bit, not too much uh, to, again, because a lot of the core is there, but a lot of, you know, infrastructure uh, and sister services around the core are missing uh, in the upstream. If we look at this, like I'm talking about capacity management, uh, self onboarding of the applications to the cloud. So all of these use cases need to be solved somehow. And that's uh, well, among many, there's uh, some directions that Marantis is working on. Uh, and of course, the open source topic, as I mentioned previously, Marantis is getting back to the basics, to the roots. And I'm actually happy to announce that we're going to open source for the core of our mask product. And we're doing this pretty soon in, in January next year. So basically, Having this uh, code on the GitHub would allow you to deploy your own mask on your own premise on your own terms in a way that you you want. And well, ideally, of course, contribute some ideas, you know, code back that that's what we hope for. But well, uh, at least sharing that's the first step for us.